Welcome back to another sports preview. I'm Andy Hewling, joined by Delaney Barrow, and we're going to get into the big talking points for Auburn athletics this week. And we're going to start with Auburn versus Alabama from Wednesday night. And Auburn, unfortunately, was um, had their winning record snapped as Alabama defeated them uh, very, very handily in Tuscaloosa. Delaney, what were your initial thoughts from that game? My, my first thought was the fact that Alabama held the lead the whole time and the Tigers were not able to overcome that. They had a season high 21 turnovers. The offense was just not producing at its same high caliber that it had been in previous games this season. And I definitely think that there are a lot of things that they are going to need to focus on in order to bounce back tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. And um, Bruce Pearl spoke in the press conference and he was talking about the runs that um, the teams made and Auburn was able to make runs to get back within three or four points but then Alabama just turned it on again and was able to stretch the lead out and eventually stretch it out to even 16 points with like two minutes left and Auburn just didn't have the answers but what do you think that they need to do coming into this Florida game to um, kind of ride the ship and at least go one for two this week? Well, I know in the game on Wednesday, Alabama played very fast, and I think that Auburn tried to keep up, which in turn resulted in the offense being sloppy, and I just think that they need to, I know that their shooting percentage was very low, and I think that they just need to follow through and really focus on those free throws and also the three-point shots. Those are going to be key. So the Tigers go into Florida this weekend, and they have not won there in 12 years, which is a big stat. Although Auburn has won the last two, it was in a neutral site and at Auburn Arena last year. So Auburn, uh, coming into this game, it's not going to be easy. They've got a lot of talented people. Delaney, what does Auburn have to do to stop um, the bleeding? And really, Samir Dowdy, I think, was a big story in the game on, on, against Alabama. He played an uncharacteristic performance. What's, what's he and the rest of his teammates have to do to establish a confidence again? Yeah, Dowdy was just really off his game on Wednesday. He had six points and seven turnovers. But I think that as long as he just takes leadership and they build on the mistakes that they made on Wednesday, I think that they just need to keep their heads up. Mm -hmm. Well, we got to the chance today to get Bruce Pearl's comments. Here's what he had to say about the matchup against Florida. Prior to beating Florida twice last year, we had lost 21 out of 22. Uh, we've lost 12 straight down in Gainesville. Haven't beaten them since 1996 down there. Um, and they were a, you know, Florida, uh, you know, their, their net team in the, in the mid-40s right now. Uh, they were a preseason top 10. Um, they've got a really good, real good personnel. We've got several McDonald's All-Americans and, and uh, great depth. Um, they played a really tough non-conference schedule and had some tough losses. Um, you know, but right now they're playing, they're playing well. So the Tigers' backcourt defense is really uh, pivotal to their success, and you've got guys like Javon McCormick, uh, D'Angelo Purifoy, and Samir Daly, just to name a few guys who can really move the ball and have scored for the Tigers. But Florida's not going to underestimate them. They know Auburn's quality. What do you think Auburn's going to have to do with that backcourt in order to score points and do better than they did against Alabama? Well, I know the Gators head coach, he's preparing his team and the best way he can. He's not going to underestimate Auburn's backcourt. I know that he praised them, saying that they're one of the most underrated in the country. Their speed and their quickness is unmatched. And I think that they're really going to be looking to start their win there by beating that. Yeah, for sure. And Florida has a great, talented um, player, Blackshear, who has really um, been one of their best keys into the game. He's already previewed as an SEC um, Player of the Year. Uh, the Tigers are really going to have to stop him. He's going to go up against Austin Wiley down low, and it's going to be a battle for Wiley. What's he going to have to do to stop Blackshear in the paint? Wiley's just going to have to post up as he does best and mm -hmm. use his size to his advantage, definitely. Mm -hmm. And Wiley's free throw shooting has gotten a lot better. I felt like it improved over the last two games as he was able to um, hit most of his shots against Alabama, which was surprising due to the lack of production from the rest of his team. But I remember Bruce was talking in a couple of press conferences over the break how Wiley's been working over the summer 
and worked even in the off season uh, leading up in the fall to this just shooting over and over and over again for hours and on end and I think it's really been a testament to his game so they're going to really need Wiley to bring that defense and then Macklemore also can come off the bench and provide a, a big presence down low. So now we're going to hop into gymnastics as they have a big matchup tonight against the LSU Tigers who are one of the best gymnastics programs teams in the country. The Tigers come in seventh ranked and Auburn really has ridden the high this week after defeating Alabama for the second time in 40 years. And Delaney, you were there covering it for Eagle Eye. What was it like uh, to see Auburn pull off this miraculous upset? Well, against Alabama, it definitely was a close upset against a sellout crowd. So I know that the team is going to be riding high after that. There was stellar performances from Drew Watson, Darion Goldborn, who placed first in her floor routine, which sealed the Tigers' fate, and she was also named SEC Specialist of the Week. So I think that Goborn and Watson are going to definitely be two to watch this mm -hmm. weekend as Tigers face the Tigers. Yeah, for sure. And one thing I noticed, and I think you might pick up on this, is that the freshmen who are starting for Auburn really were almost the heroes, like Skylar Shepard on the beam. She got, a, I believe it was a 9-9 on the beam. An incredible performance from her. Um, you've got people like Drew Watson and Darian Goborn. They're kind of the, the seniors and they're the leadership, but what was it um, like to see these freshmen come up and step up in the big time in their first match of the, their whole career at Auburn? I think the freshmen definitely were carrying their weight, which is very impressive coming from such low experience into this team that has had very successful past seasons. And I know that there's a lot expected of them, but so far they seem to be really doing really well. Yeah, for sure. And so Auburn coming into this matchup, obviously LSU made the um, Final Four last year in the NCAA championship. So that's a big testament to what this program is. LSU, um, I believe I researched they came uh, second place to UCLA, which that's impressive because UCLA was off the charts in NCAA gymnastics. So it's going to be a tough matchup. You've got to go down to Baton Rouge. Never an easy place to play in any sport uh, at all. So what is Auburn going to have to do to just keep this consistency and maybe pull off yet another upset? I think their momentum is running high right now, mm -hmm. and as long as they keep their morale up mm -hmm. and there continues to be star standout performances from those experienced mm -hmm. gymnasts on the team, I think that they have a good chance if they just stick to what they did last week. Well, it looks like it's going to be a really entertaining weekend for Auburn Athletics. We're really excited uh, for the weekend to come, and I'm sure um, most fans watching at home will have quite a lot to look forward to. Well, that's going to do it for us. I'm Andy Hewling, joined by Delaney Barrow, and we'll see you next week.